Now, if there's one thing that has always been tricky for me on the drums, it is 16th note triplet fills. <laughs> because all the cool drummers play it, and I just want to be cool. So I've been working on that in my practice time, and I want to show you today the exact system I'm using that's getting incredible results. So when I'm talking about triplet fills, I'm really talking about 16th note triplet fills, which is the vast majority of what you'll play in rock, pop, funk, the kind of stuff that you, I play. Now a 16th note triplet is just one quarter note divided into six equal parts, and in a bar of four four, that would give us 24 notes, which is a lot of notes for you to worry about how to play it, how to phrase it. Now you could play that fill in blocks of six, so like right, left, right, kick, kick, four times, that sounds okay, but it can get a bit boring. But to make things a bit more interesting to the listener and you as a player, we tend to gravitate towards splitting those groups into nine, nine, six. That's super common. There's loads of lessons online about this, but I've developed a system to help you go deeper to actually get you to the end result of total freedom. So grab a cup of coffee, download the PDF that's below because this one's gonna be pretty in depth and let's jump to the kit and get started. So step one is gonna be find your nine. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we're gonna make a nine note sticking because they really don't naturally exist and nine notes is quite a lot to try to remember. So the easiest way to do it is actually to create a group of six or take a normal group of six that we'd already play and then smash it with a normal group of three. You could do it in other ways, maybe a five plus four, another way of using this system, a seven plus two, an eight plus one if you really want to go down that route. But I find the six plus three has the most triplet you feel. So that's where I'm working at the moment. Now, there's a lot of sixes you could choose from. There's a lot of threes you could choose from. But here's the ones that I'm gonna be working on to show you in the video. But in the workbook below, which you can download for free, it shows you all the ones that I'm putting through this system currently in my own practice. So first one, the six stroke roll. Six notes long, right, left, left, right, right, left. So the first right and the last left are accented. Sounds like this. Really common, played fast, sounds really cool as a fill. And the other one we're gonna be working on is right, left, right, left, left, kick. Another awesome sticking to play around with. We've got a kick drum, so we're starting to get into that linear phrasing. With that left foot quarter note, super coordination challenging, which is fun. Sounds like this. Now for our threes, I'm gonna choose right, left, left, which is like a half six, and then right, left, kick. Like I said, there's tons of others and check that PDF, start choosing ones that you like the sound of and start combining them. So now that we know our six plus our three, let's start stringing that together as a nine, but we're gonna do it in three, four. And the reason for that is that it's gonna cycle really nicely. We don't have to worry about going over the bar line and we can keep a quarter note left foot, which is gonna be in the one, the two and the three. That's gonna be an added level of coordination, especially when it comes to this kick drum linear stuff. So here it is at a slow tempo, and we're gonna do our first six and three, which is gonna be six row crawl plus right, left, left. And now our second six plus three, which is gonna be right, left, right, left, left, kick, right, left, kick, so it's like. Once you've got that down and you're able to count different things over the top of it, remember the importance of that, now we want to start orchestrating it. So this isn't our fill yet, this is an exercise, this is a, a flow phrase that we want to get you comfortable with because we can't do anything cool with it and instinctive until we can just flow it in its root state. The first thing I ever do with any sticking is I just stick, play that sticking over and over and over and over and over and over again until I can get it flowing and feeling really comfortable. So I'll do the six stroke roll plus right, left, left and I'll start moving it around the kit. Finally,
Just starting to get comfy, starting to flow it around. And once you can do that, we're ready to move on to step two. So let's go. Step two is gonna be where we start to create our four beat, our whole bar fill by going nine, nine, six. Now the six that we're gonna play at the end is just gonna be the six that we've been using previously. So basically we're gonna play that nine note phrase twice and then play another six at the end. Now in order to make it a fill, it needs to be played with a groove. So to practice this, I like to do what I call a one and one structure. And that is where we play one bar groove and then one bar fill. I'm gonna take it back down to the slow tempo. I'm gonna do the six stroke roll plus the right, left, left. Sounds like this at the slow and medium tempo. That's cool, sounds all right, but here's where the system kicks in. Most of the time, and I've been guilty of this, you play a 996 fill, that's what you do. So it always has this same structure, this ba, do, ba, 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 which actually ends up being like the three side of the clave. What we want to do to make it more interesting and to give us more freedom, because all these systems are designed to give you freedom on the kit, is to move the six around. So there's actually three different options. We've got 996, which I just demonstrated. But what about putting the six in the middle? So now we're gonna have 969. Try this. And I'll do it at back at the slow tempo. Now this is where the quarter note counting comes in. Because if you can do that with a 969 fill, while counting the quarter notes, you know exactly where you are. Because if you just cycle it, you can easily get lost and go back to playing 996 without even realizing it. So what about the final option? 699, try this. Now nothing sounds really good at 50 beats a minute, I'm not gonna lie, but trying it a little bit faster, we end up with something really, sounding really cool. It's a little bit more interesting and a little bit more organic than just playing a stock 996 fill. Nothing wrong with it, but you wanna have more options. So I'm gonna try the right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left kick, plus right, left kick, and let's do one bar groove, one bar 996, one bar groove, one bar 969, one bar groove, one bar 699, if you have no idea what I'm doing, I'm gonna put a graphic along the screen so you can follow along. Now, like I said, right at the start, I've been working on this for a little bit of time, a couple of weeks and I'm starting to feel some real benefits of it. So just a little bit of digging into the system and you're gonna to start to really, really feel the benefit. Now you may be thinking, okay, we're done. 996, we've reordered it three times, boom, let's move on. However, we're not. The way my brain works and the way I want to explore the drums is to go as deep as possible to explore all of the options and have complete mastery. That takes me six months, I'm more than happy to put in the time. And this system is just an example of the kind of systems I have on my website, which is designed to make you do exactly that. Go deep, understand something, and as I say to my students, Learn it once, but learn it right. Beyond just reordering the 996, we can split those groups up again and start reordering them again. Now I need my notes for this because I worked out all of the options and there are only 10, some of them we've done so far. Now instead of thinking of this fill as 996, let's split up those groups and turn it into 6-3, 6 Okay, so that's five notes or five positions. And what we can do is we can kind of invert them 
and move around where we start within that sequence of 63636. Six, three, six. And that gives us a total of five other options. And that would be 36366, 63663, 36636, 66363. I had to consult my notes there. I couldn't think of this in my head, so I had to write it all down. Now that probably means nothing that's flown right over your head. So let me demonstrate it with the six stroke roll and the right, left, left. And I'll just do one bar groove, one bar fill. And I'll cycle each thing and I'll put a graphic on the screen. Don't you worry, I've got you. All of these number combinations are in the PDF below, so please do go grab them because it'll make this so much easier. But let me run through a little bit faster column two of this thing, which we're calling step 2B. And we're going to start with 66336, six, three, six, and I'll do it with my right, left, right, left, left kick combination. I got a bit big headed there, I thought I could do this. And then the drums bit me in the butt. Drums will always win, they will always win. Okay, so you can see where this could possibly go. We're delving deeper and deeper and deeper, going there to try to develop freedom. Which leads us on to our next final step in this system, step three, and that is improvising these groups at random. We wanna be able to improvise this six and three back and forth. Now realistically, when we are improvising in a song, we're not thinking sixes and threes and stickings, we're, we're flowing in triplets. That's the aim of any of this stuff. But in this specific kind of system, we wanna be improvising with the things that we have just put in these number combinations. Now to practice this, let's make a two bar fill. It gives us a bit more chance to express ourselves, play over the bar line, try different ideas that the one bar fill kind of cuts us off from. So in order to play a two bar fill, we're gonna have to play a two bar groove. And to start with, I'm gonna do it with a click and I'm keep it nice and medium, 70 beats a minute. And then I'm gonna do it with some tracks which are gonna sound awesome, which are from a guy called Tim Baltes, Baltes Baltz, not entirely sure. He's awesome, Timbo from Kino on Instagram. I'll link him down below and where you can get these tracks. So let's try this linear six plus three and I will improvise over two bars. Just for a bit of a laugh, let's do it faster. Faster and faster and so on and so forth. That's probably about my limit to be honest, but I've only been practicing this for two weeks. I'm gonna give this six months. I'm gonna go back to the start of the system with a new group of six. Back again, back again, back again. 
so that I can get used to playing and phrasing in 16 note triplets. Now let me try this with some tracks. I'm gonna try it with just a random 85 beats a minute from the man that is Tim Baltes. Let's see what this one sounds like. That's a pretty deep, long video for my YouTube channel, but I just wanted to show you like the in-depth nature of what I work on when I'm practicing and the kind of things I teach online. So go practice it, start working on your triplet fills right now, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Take care, have practicing. See you in the practice room.